boys and girls. Last week, we really practiced reading the pictures of a book. And this week, we're gonna practice the second way to read, which is reading the words. Now, I know that some of you can already read words, and that's very, very exciting. But some of us are just beginning, and that's okay too, because you're gonna be great at reading words before you know it. There are special books that make reading words really nifty. And I wanna show some of those to you today. The first book I wanna show you is called Richard Scarry's Best Word Book Ever. Word books are a great way to start reading because you see the picture, you see the word, and you know that the reason they're together is because the word tells what the picture shows. Let me show you inside the front cover. Before we even start turning the pages, we can see something that we know. We can see the alphabet. You know that letter. And what's that picture? It's an alligator. And so if we look at this word right here, we know with an A and an L, it probably says Al alligator. How about here? We've got this big, tall, fuzzy guy next to the B, B, bear. What about here? What do you think that word says? Here's the picture. And it starts with the letter H, which makes the H sound. You're right, it's a heart. I'm gonna turn the page now and show you another picture. That's really, oops, not that one, this one. This one is all about painting and drawing with colors. Now, you know your color words. You've been practicing your color words. And so here we can see the same color word on both these tubes of paint. And of course we know that color is red. Here it says yellow, red and yellow, and it's kind of swirling together and it's making orange. So this says make orange. See how the pictures and the words work together? You can read a lot of it all by yourself. Over here it says toys. Now, some of these toys are kind of old fashioned because Richard Scarry made these books before I was even born. But I bet you have these things at your house. They may not look exactly like that, but we use them to stack and to build. And it starts with the letter B, B, B. Can you guess what that w word says based on what the picture shows? Did you guess blocks? You're right, it does say blocks. What about this over here? Again, this is a really kind of silly old fashioned picture, but it's some sort of walking um, metal guy and it says, er, er. What do you think that picture shows? This word says robot. Isn't that neat? Word books are just such a great way to get going and you might have word books at your house. The next book I wanna show you is called I Love Animals. Now, often word books have, are board books, they have thick, stiff pages like this, and they're still perfect for when you're beginning to read. Look at how, this is definitely not a baby book. This is definitely a big kid book. So let's take a look and see if we can read some of the words in this word book. All right, well, this is the biggest word on the page. P, P, hmm. Oh, and I know that letter, that's a lowercase g. This is a pig, so that must say pig. Now this looks like it's got the word pig in it, but then it's got another part here. So maybe this is the pig and these are the baby pigs. What do you call a baby pig? Do you know? Oh, I remember, it's called a piglet. So that probably says piglets. Let's see, oh, piglet, hmm, piglet. Okay, 
Here's a horse. Hmm, just a second. This has a D at the beginning. This has a D here. D, O says, ah, oh, D, ah, oh, dong. Oh, that's not a horse, that's a donkey. That's a donkey. Oh yeah, I remember they're like a smaller horse, right? So that's cool. I just read that word and learned what that is. It's not a horse, it's a donkey. Here's a chick, two chicks, one, two chicks. Uh-oh, same problem. This starts with a D. So those aren't chicks, those aren't baby chickens. They're D, uh, duck, duck. Oh, do you remember what to call a baby duck? It's a duckling. So those are ducklings, not chicks. Here's a t turkey. And what's this with an uppercase G? That's a goat and her baby. And we call a baby a kid. Do you see how we can use word books to help us start reading words? We just have to match the word and the picture. I hope you enjoyed reading from I Love Animals and Richard Scarry's best word book ever. In your book bin, you should have these two copies. And this one is from the I Love Animals book and this one's from the Richard Scarry book. I want you to see how many words you can read all by yourself during Read to Self.